Okay, so, oh, oh, moron. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and you are watching Growing Green. Today's video is going to be kind of like a mix of a plant haul slash my first ever plant swap. There has been so much kindness in the plant community, well towards me at least, uh, today. Um, I just, I'm just going to get straight into the video because I honestly cannot express um, how lucky I have been in the last day. So I'm going to take you around, show you all the new things I've got, do a couple of cutting, potting ups and yeah. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I went to my mum's house and she had a Hoya there. Um, I believe it is a Hoya Carnosa. Um, I'm not quite sure what colour the flowers are. I have three separate cuttings here so I'm going to put them into some spag moss. Um, you know what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to put a couple in spag moss and one in soil just to do like a little test. Um, I've used spag moss before um, on my golden pothos cutting and some heart leaf cuttings which you will have seen in my last video. Uh, make sure to go and check that out if you haven't. It is my introduction video to my channel and you can go and learn a little bit more about me. I just hope this works. So yeah, these cuttings all came from my mum. I went up to her house today and she came with me on a plant swap, which I will show you in just a minute. This lady was so freaking kind to me. Just about done here. Get all that water out. So yeah, I basically I just wrapped the bottom of the stems in the sphagnum moss and yeah, I will go and put that on a shelf somewhere. I do have a couple more heat pads that I just ordered online, so they will come in in the next probably two weeks or so. Okay, so, oh, oh, oh. moron. So yeah, I do have under this desk a whole um, box full of premixed soil so I can just come in and do cuttings when I feel like it. So yeah, this one I'm just gonna, I don't know slap in there somehow and yes i know there's probably more efficient ways of warding it in than this but that's fine i've put it in the soil um and we're just going to see how it goes stick it in the greenhouse it's kind of like a playing playing around time for me seeing what works what doesn't work i just want to show you some other cuttings i also got from my mother i got some scandepsis pictus i got a couple of monstera and sonii cuttings All I'm doing, by the way, is see the node with the root there? I'm just covering that with spag moss and then popping her in. Um, if you're not already, make sure to follow my Instagram page. Um, you can keep up to date with things on there. Then you can follow my story. See, they're all in there now. So all I do is just use the rest of the sphagnum moss and I just kind of pack it in. There are my Monstera at Sonii cuttings. It's, oh my god, this is full of water. Uh, I just cleaned here, can you believe it? So there we have those ones. Hopefully it's not too much in one. I mean, it might be, but whatevs. We're gonna see how it goes. So there we go, there we have my three propagations for the day in the new greenhouse and it's going to go up on my shelf. I'm going to now tell you about the really, really, really nice trade this lady did with me. Uh, so basically I put on Facebook, uh, I have a minima, anyone want to swap for anything? And this lady got back to me and said I'd be keen to swap for, I'll show you, I'll show you, I can't, I just, no, I just can't, I can't even, I can't even. So if you don't know what a minima is, I'll hold one up for you, I've got one more. Um, this is a minima philodendron minima and yes it is a philodendron it is not a monstera it is a philodendron minima although they call it the mini monstera but yeah so she wanted that one and i also gave her two little heart leaf rooted cuttings so i swapped the minima the two heart leaf cuttings rooted uh for this beauty it's none other than the string of turtles or peperomia prostrata and some of you may be a little bit confused as to why i'm so excited about this um, basically, it's actually not commercially available in New Zealand. I'll obviously give you updates in future videos or on my Instagram, and I will see you tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow when I pack up my little minima to ship it, and I'm also going to pack up a cutting swap that I'm going to be doing for a lady who just messaged me through Facebook. So yeah, I will see you tomorrow.
the lady at work with the plants. <laughs> All right, guys, so it's the next day. Um, I have another update for you. <laughs> Two exciting updates. This week has just been the best week for plants for me. First update, I bought another very special plant at a bargain price. Uh, which is coming later on in the week, which you'll see in my little plant haul at the end. Um, but I also just went to Bunnings and bought something else for my plants. Ta da! We went and bought some clothes hanging racks to, um, yeah, hang my plants on, really. And we're gonna put some more like bars in between here or a shelf in between here and hang some more down the bottom. So, today's tasks I'm going to package up this minima to be sent to a lady who bought it off me on Facebook. You know what, I'm gonna be kind. I'm gonna add another cutting to this, just a complete random cutting. Let me go find something. There you go, I'm gonna add a variegated peperomia skin ends cutting. I popped it in there amongst all the air bubble thingies and I'm gonna put a little bit of polystyrene on the top. Again, for this lady, all she asked for was the Scandepsis pictus cutting and the Peperomia cuttings, but I'm going to chuck in a heart leaf cutting and a golden polythopus cutting. Alrighty, I'm going to really quickly show you the cuttings that I purchased today. So, first of all, we have Golden Pothos, Heartleaf Philodendron Cuttings, Tradescantia, Tradescantia, I think. Hey guys, it's the next day. Um, I just thought I would show you my new setup. Um, we went to Bunnings and we got these racks and I've just hung all of my hanging plants on here. Now I can see everything that I have. I mean, it's just fantastic. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Hello guys, it is now Wednesday. Um, something really exciting happened this morning. I'm sorry I couldn't like fully unbox it for you. So I've just unboxed it already, but my first ever uh, plant swap has arrived. I'm so excited. So I sent this lady two double leaf cuttings of my Scandapsis Trebi, which you can see is super long, um, hence why I'm crouching in front of it to show you, um, and a few other little goodies, and hers that she sent to me has arrived in the mail this morning, so I'm about to show you. So she ended up sending me, look, it's so cute. It is a two set of leaf, two sets of leaves, Hoya fishtail cutting. And then on the other side, she has sent me a Hoya Bella cutting, which is rooted. Um, the fishtail one isn't rooted, so I'm gonna have a lot of fun rooting it. All right, let's have a look she inside. Oh yeah. Ta-ta. Alrighty guys, it is now Thursday and I'm going to be potting up all of the plants that I received in the mail yesterday. Big thank you to my husband for unboxing them for me <laughs> while I was at work. But um, yeah, let's just sit down and do some repotting. So the first thing I'm going to be potting up is my variegated chain of hearts. Um, I'm a little bit new to this, but actually going to bury a little bit of the stem and then I'm going to pin it on top. I'm just going to be using this um, gardening wire and I'm going to put one right in between the two leaves there. Covering the bottom of the stem a little bit more. Make sure it's touching the soil. There we go. There is my variegated chain of hearts. The potting mix I use is just um, normal potting soil and I've put some pumice in it as well. So the next plant I'm going to be doing is my watermelon peperomia. But um, yeah, let's open up the roots and have a look at the root situation first because that will tell me what I'm going to put it in. Mm, that's um, disappointing. <laughs> look, there's 
absolutely not a single root on that. The heck? Okay, um, I might have to do a little bit of butchering on this one. There's just literally not a single root on it. I might put it in water, actually. I'm gonna try putting the rest of this in water and see how it goes. There we go. We have my two fishtail Hoya and Spagna Moss. And that is just going to go on the shelf for now because I've run out of heat mat. I'm going to put this guy in soil. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to talk to you about in this video um, was a purchase that I made today. Some people have been selling these for upwards of $350. Some people have been selling these for $50 for multiple, but I have managed to get my hands on five Caladium bulbs and the site that I have purchased them from is Kiwi Ladiums Kiwi Ladiums, Kiwi Caladiums. I went ahead and I bought five bulbs for $50 So I'm gonna quickly show you the ones that I ordered. This is the Instagram page here I bought them off. The ones that I chose were Red Flash, which look like that. I also got the Rosebud variety, which look like that. The Candidium variety that look like that the Gingerland variety that look like so, and the June Bride variety, which look like that. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed my second video on this channel. If you did, please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Um, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought of this video. What is your favorite plant that I got in this week? If you haven't already, make sure to go and follow me on my social medias. My Instagram is down below, it's growinggreennz. Um, make sure to hit my Facebook page, which is Growing Green, because I will be in the future, hopefully selling some cuttings or plants on all of these different uh, social medias. So make sure to be following me on all of those. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Also hit that like button if you like this video. But yeah, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I'm Rachel and this is Growing Green. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!